Hi, this is Mike Bias with College Exam Tutor with your 60 second tip for the ACT. Today we're going to revisit science again and talk about another one of the three types of passages that you're going to read in the science portion. Uh, data representation. There will be three different sections of data representation out of the seven total sections on the test. And data representation will be graphs, tables, and charts. And what they're going to do in there uh, to separate the above average scores from the average scores is they're going to make it as confusing as possible for you. What I would recommend that you do is look at the table, for instance, very briefly and say, okay, what is this table about? And quickly identify some of the things that are just not that important. For instance, they might have a car mileage, how many miles per gallon do cars get? And they'll list the year of the car, the make of the car, the color of the car, well, color isn't really going to affect mileage, but they'll put that in there to confuse you. So the, the goal on the tables is to overwhelm you with information to see if you're smart enough to look past that. The second thing is the graphs. Make sure that you understand the axes of the graphs because a lot of times you'll say, oh, the line is going up, it might be increasing. But if you look at the values and the two axes, you might realize that a line going up is actually something decreasing. That's a curveball that they like to throw at you. So data representation, charts, tables, and graphs. Quickly figure out what are they trying to see and look for the confounders, the things that they throw in there to overwhelm you and trick you and throw you off base. For College Exam Tutor, this is Mike Bias reminding you that if you study a little bit every day, the ACT is a breeze.